Hey there and welcome back to another Miraculous Ladybug Season 4 video. And coming off my video from last week speculating about the end of Season 4, I want to expand on the topic of identity reveals. Specifically one identity reveal that I think is coming straight at us like a freight train, yet not many people are talking about or speculating about. And of course, the reveal that I'm talking about is Tom and Sabine discovering that their daughter Marinette is actually moonlighting as a famous superhero. Now, a lot of people like to hyper-focus on Cat Noir and Ladybug discovering each other's identities, or the heroes finding out who they are, or the heroes and villains finally getting their reveals. And obviously, those type of reveals are definitely going to come at some point or another. It simply isn't feasible to have everybody remain a mystery to each other forever. It'll help the story grow in different directions and open up a lot of new and different dynamics. Before we get started on why that is though, if you're somebody that likes to avoid leaks and spoilers, this video might not be for you as I do reference upcoming episodes and information that's been spoiled about them, so fair warning. I think overall, one of the most important reveals, Marinette's parents, has surprisingly been barely touched at all by either the writers or the fan base. And the only parental reveal that people seem to care about is the identity reveal between Gabriel and Adrian. And I understand that. After all, Adrian is the number two hero of the show, and Gabe is the main antagonist. And in all honesty, that particular reveal will obviously have the biggest and most long-lasting story consequences that should shape character arcs and motivations going forward past the reveal. After all, the relationship between them is one of the big underlying storylines that the show's had since season one, whilst Marinette's parents dip in and out of the story for the sake of the plot. They don't really have all that much relevance, and are kind of set up as the ideal parents in the eyes of a child. Letting Marinette get away with a lot of stuff which lets her run off and be a superhero at the drop of a hat, whilst also being easygoing, caring, and supportive. Basically, they kind of just sit there in the corner until you need somebody to give Marinette a hug, or need a story reason for Marinette to be somewhere. And usually this story involves her helping her parents with the bakery, or doing deliveries, or catering, or whatever. So really, they're hardly characters at all in their own right. They're merely a part of her backstory and a plot device to move her from point A to point B when needed. And based on that, I kind of think they need to be revitalized in some way, to both make them fully-fledged characters in their own right, and also to help round out Marinette's character and story arc. A lot of Marinette's primary story this season, and actually for basically the entire run of the show, has been her slowly accumulating more and more responsibility, and being forced to grow up faster than the normal teenager. From receiving a magical jewel that lets her turn into a costumed hero, to being forced to fight against another costume villain who's determined to capture her at any cost, saving countless lives, needing to choose which of her friends would be the best superhero in a specific situation, to finally becoming the mystical guardian of a whole box full of super magic gems. It's a lot to put on a kid's shoulders. But ultimately, her character arc has been about persevering in spite of all this responsibility and pressure. When it got too much for her at the start of Season 4, what happened? She told Alia, and from then on it's pretty much been all sunshine and rainbows. Yes, it was a struggle, but ultimately, like always, she overcomes it, and that's fine, from time to time. But I think it would be a more interesting story idea for her to actually require her parents for support for once. And as we saw earlier this season, the only way she can adequately be supported by somebody is if they actually know what the hell's going on in her life. And it opens up a whole new world of possible storylines and interesting situations, but most importantly, gives the opportunity for Marinette to be weak and actually rely emotionally on somebody else for a change. Yes, she has Alia, but that's more to shoulder the burden of vigilante endeavors, so to speak. It isn't quite the same thing that I'm talking about. Unless Adrian's involved, Marinette often acts older than her years, and apart from being late to things, has a pretty good handle on her life. A storyline like this gives her the opportunity to grow as a character and have different types of storylines, where she struggles on an emotional level and needs a bit more help than what her teenage friends can give. A storyline where she actually needs her parents and needs to depend on them and let them into her life. We've seen the impact that having a shit dad can have through Adrian's characterization and story, whereas Marinette seems to skate by with her parents who have little to do with her life at all. So maybe it's time to reframe that dynamic and try to make her, and her parents, a little bit more three-dimensional. And from there, it makes a nice contrast between how Marinette behaves when she has emotionally available parents who support her choices and lifestyle, versus a borderline abusive dad who seeks to micromanage every aspect of Adrian's life. Plus, an overall theme of the show is teamwork and being able to depend on others to achieve your goals. Yes, Marinette achieves the majority of the mission's objectives, but not without significant aid from others. It's been very much established that having her isolated and unable to lean on others has a negative impact on her hero work and her personal life. And it would just make sense for the people she lives with to help her in her endeavours and keep those meddling Kwamis in check. But then this brings me to a bit of a roadblock. 
How do they find out her identity? And obviously, that's almost impossible to predict, as we've pretty much had no close call moments with her parents, and no hint of an impending reveal. But, if I was writing the show, and it was my decision, I'd put it in the episode Dearest Family. Now, from what we know of this episode so far from trailers and leaks, it's that Tiki goes absolutely nuts for unknown reasons, and uses her powers when she shouldn't. And meanwhile, Marinette's parents get akumatized, hooray! Now that's some serious drama, and some high level stakes. Now why do they get akumatized? Who knows, but I'm guessing it probably has something to do with Tiki going nuts in the first place, and creating things that she shouldn't. Probably trashing their store in the process. At least, that's what I would write. And this means that once Marinette inevitably manages to get Akwame to calm down and transforms into Ladybug to defeat her akumatized parents, she'd probably still need to explain what the hell had been going on afterwards. And after the emotional strain of everything that she's had to go through that episode, would being up front with her parents be such a crazy step? Would it be so out of the question? Especially since we know they don't really seem to be the overprotective type. I mean, they kind of let Marinette run her own life in many ways. And if they realise that she's been doing this for what, like a year, two years? Is that how long it's been? And that she's still alive, and is actually doing well for herself? I don't see them being all cliche and demanding she gives up on protecting Paris from Shadow Moth. That would actually just be the worst choice, and I don't think it fits in with how they're portrayed as characters. Yes, they should be concerned because they're parents, and if they weren't, then they'd be stupid, but ultimately, they should be supportive of her decision. And I mean, the title's so on the nose as well. Dearest Family, and her parents get akumatized. I mean, you could argue there'll be something to do with Adrian's dad, considering their family storyline is so important through the show, but there's honestly too much going on with Marinette's side of things, so it would be far too cramped to include a storyline centered around Adrian for this one. Plus, with the later episodes concerning Shadow Moth, we'll probably have plenty of time for that later. So yeah, this pretty much just solidifies my confidence in the fact that if there's a reveal, it's Marinette's parents finding out here. I mean, the finale episode's called The Last Attack of Shadow Moth, right? So there's really no way that Adrian doesn't find out that his dad's a hermit supervillain in that episode. And if Asterix writing has taught me anything, it's that Marinette always comes first in his mind. So they'll get the reveal first. Case closed! And really, there are only positives here from a story point of view. And the biggest of these, of course, is that it allows the opportunity for Marinette and her parents to really grow as characters and opens up new facets of their personality. Plus, by emphasising the close bond between a parent and their children, you kind of create a perfect ideal family to contrast Adrian's sad and broken one. And this fits from a meta point of view, as the ladybug and cat are kind of like yin and yang. Opposites. Creation and destruction. One's really colourful. One's full emo black. One's super responsible and one's not responsible at all. One has a happy home life, the other one doesn't. And I mean, it's kind of depressing, but I think it just works. Plus, this means you can have a scene with Tiki following Tom around as he bakes her cookies. And I mean, I need this scene. I need it in my heart. Who doesn't want this? It's criminal they've been kept apart for so long. And then when you flip it around, the only real downside I can see is that it may be a little bit of a stretch to have so many people be let in on the secret. But I still think it's a good idea, and let's be honest, it's inevitable that everyone will find out anyway, so may as well move on down the checklist. But, as always, those are just my opinions, and now I'd like to hear yours. What do you think about Marinette's parents getting let in on the secret? Agree? Disagree? And what are your reasons why? I'm curious to hear your thoughts, so make sure to leave a comment, and let me know.